What's up, uh, MMA fans? It's Tudor Leonte from Short Dog here. And right now I'm talking with uh, the only, uh, uh, the one, the Canadian gangster, uh, Monsieur <laughs> Olivier Aubin Mercier. How are you, sir? Yeah, good job with the name. It's a hard name to say, so good job. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. How are you, sir? I am good, I'm good, and you? I'm fine as well, thank you very much. Um, the, the first uh, thing I wanted to, uh, I want to ask you, how have you spent the last year of uh, your life? Uh, crying, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, it was a tough year. Uh, it was hard to train, uh, at some point we were allowed to train in Quebec. Uh, right now we are not allowed to train in Quebec, so that's why uh, right now I'm in uh, Puerto Rico. Um, but for the last year it was hard. Like I, I did a lot of running, I did a lot of shadow boxing, but training with partner was uh, was, was uh, illegal. So it was uh, it was hard to uh, to live a normal life for me. But uh, I mean I can't complain. I didn't lose everything like a lot of people during COVID. So uh, right now I have a goal, I have a fight coming up. Uh, I think uh, that one of the things I was missing for the last year is uh, I, I was having no goal. So uh, that right now that I have a goal, I, I think I feel better. Uh, I think uh, we underestimate the fact that having a goal, it's uh, important in life. And finally, I'm happy to, uh, to be back on the, in the cage. Um, first uh, thing, uh, are you in Puerto Rico to train or are you there for other reasons? Uh, other reason is a vacation or? <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> or yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no I'm, I'm here to train, so I'm training with the, the Danaher, Danaher Dead Squad with uh, John Danaher. Mm. Uh, so uh, I came here for months. Uh, I was supposed to stay for a month. I, I was supposed to leave uh, the 12th of, uh, of February, but now uh, Canada decided to uh, to ban travel. So I may have a lot of trouble coming uh, back uh, in my country. So I may stay in um, in, uh, in the US, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm gonna see what's uh, gonna happen in the, in the next couple of uh, weeks since everything changed every week so we don't know what's gonna happen so i'm gonna stay here until the 12th gonna refocus on, uh, gonna see what's my option and decide at that point uh it's been a while uh, since uh, mma fans saw you compete in the octagon last time um it's been actually quite uh, almost uh, two years mm -hmm. and uh, you left the, the ufc following uh, your first uh, three bout skid in your career have you thought about your last fights in the in the ufc uh, if i thought about my last fight yes sir well uh, uh, you mean my last opponent or no no in general you know uh, it was quite a critical period of time for you let's put it like this uh, the results Oh, to take my uh, to retire, you mean? Yeah, yeah, in general, yes, sir. <laughs> no, I, I, I was not planning to uh, retire. It's really hard to take for sure. I, I, well, actually, I thought it was really hard to take uh, three uh, defeats in a row, and then COVID came in, and that's uh, a lot harder. Uh, so, no, I was not planning to retire, uh, but it was tough. But you know what? The competition I was fighting in the UFC was really, really high. I think I was on the verge of beating all those, all those guys. So I refocused, I, I tried to improve during COVID. And uh, that's it. I mean, all the guys that I lost to doing are doing really, really well in the UFC right now. One of them is fighting for the belt for the 170. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard, but you know what? Uh, I think I, I grow every, every fight. Has the UFC tried to, to keep you? Have uh, they offered you a, a contract, a, a new contract uh, at the time? No, no, they didn't. They didn't. So uh, we were uh, talking to PFL and uh, other promotion, but we decided to, uh, to go with uh, PFL. And um, 
after you, you know you you signed with PFL, what was the the main reason you know behind the, uh, your choice to to join the PFL uh, roster? Well, there was a lot of reason. I think the concept of PFL uh, with the regular season and then the the, the tournament for, format was really interesting. I think the concept have so much potential. Uh, I mean, I grew up with uh, Mortal Kombat. I grew up with uh, you know uh, all those uh, all, all those movies uh, with a tournament. Uh, Well, you have to win a tournament to be the best in the world and everything. So it was something compelling for me. Um, I'm used to tournament. I was doing judo when I was younger. Uh, so I know how it works. And I know that it's uh, it's tough since you have to fight more than once. Uh, well, one night of the of the tournament, you have to fight one, more than once in a, in a night. So it, that's really tough. You have to really uh, try to uh, recuperate in between the, the matches. So that was really interesting too. I was interested to push myself doing that. And uh, that's it. I just like the concept. I think the, there's so much potential uh, with that concept. I think a lot of fans gonna uh, gonna watch it and they're gonna prefer it than from the UFC. And a lot of fans just gonna watch the UFC and watch PFL just for fun too. I think it's, it's, I think it's great. I think really it's a great idea to, uh, to do that every year. You were talking before about uh, your goals, about uh, having a goal in life uh, and the importance of having it. Um, what do you expect from your PFL adventure? Uh, I expect uh, a big check, you know, the big one, which they take picture with <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the champagne. That would be great. Um, But you know what? No, I think it's a new uh, it's it's a new step in my uh, in my career. It's gonna uh, like I said last year was terrible for everybody. So uh, I'm really looking forward to a lot of uh, challenge. I didn't really have a lot of challenge last year, other than the mental health. But uh, I would say like a lot of challenge would be great physical challenge, and uh, I mean. The category right now, uh, lightweight, it looks so great. I think it's really exciting uh, for an athlete uh, like me. So um, I don't know. I, I'm looking for a big challenge this year. Um, you are uh, actually right. A lot of uh, interesting talents are, uh, are or have joined the PFL uh, roster, especially in the lightweight division. Uh, is there someone uh, in particular you would like to face? All of them. But uh, no, truly, uh, I think Pittis. Pittis uh, just got signed. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice since uh, when I was younger. But well, when I was not that much younger. But uh, I remember watching his fight, uh, watching his, uh, his spectacular uh, kicks against uh, Benson Anderson. And um, I mean, when I start MMA, he was doing that. So uh, it would be a, a great, like, um, uh, great respect to fight him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. It would uh, be actually quite a, an, uh, an interesting uh, matchup uh, if the PFL uh, will, uh, will offer uh, this fight to the fans. But speaking yeah, yeah, of... And, uh, At the same time, I think every uh, every athlete right now in PFL wants to fight him. So, <laughs> we're gonna see. Maybe in the tournament, we're gonna see. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, he, he's getting a lot of heat from uh, the the almost all, all the names in the the PFL lightweight division. Um, do you have uh, any message for uh, you know for your fans or for your upcoming uh, opponents? Your choice, uh, my fans. Well, stay strong, guys. I know it's a hard time, but it's uh, maybe almost over. And uh, to my opponents, well, I see them in the in the in the octagon. And um, what can I say? I'm gonna win the million dollars. So maybe uh, those tears gonna make just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, actually it's has been a, one of the funniest interviews I ever had. Uh, 
Uh, thank you very much, sir. God and damn, best of luck. You, you have a good poker face, but I was like, oh, tough crowd today. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, actually, it was one of the funniest uh, I, I ever had uh, in, uh, in my career. Uh, uh, thank you very much again. Uh, good luck. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, good luck with uh, your fights and uh, best of luck, of luck with everything, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Um, merci encore et um, au revoir. Bye bye.